Hello, everybody. It's me, Ross, and welcome to the Strike Invitational 2.0 with another first round tie here. And I'm joined by Bono, aka Vu from U2, aka Matt, and good old Chris Peach Peachy to, as they battle out to get to the round two of the Strike Invitational 2.0. Four questions plus a tiebreaker if needed. I want to go over to Bono first. How you doing, my friend? A first round tie for yourself against Peachy. How you feeling going into this head to head? How do you do, fellow kids? I'm alrighty, Roo. I'm in the mood for dancing and all that other jazz. And I've got some Ukrainian beer. So life is good. And uh, hopefully I will be toasting a victory for somebody tonight. So there you go. Looking forward to coming up against uh, the Peach Meister General tonight. It's a good old boy. Wears his cap backwards. So uh, he knows his onions. So there you go. There we go. You've got Am a mascot I... behind you as well. You've got a mascot behind have, you. Yeah, your it's, nearly her, it's nearly her bedtime. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no definitely not. Um, but Peachy, you've got a very tough opposition in Bono, but I'm sure you are going to go to the wire in this game. Hopefully it will be a very interesting head-to-head. -head. How are you feeling going into this one, my friend? Do you know what? I'm slightly nervous. Just, you know, first time in the strike. I remember watching it this time last year. I thought, I'd love to do that. And now I'm here, living the dream against one of the KOA top men. So, bring it on. Looking forward to it. What? Top? What? Me? No, I'm not, uh, yeah. I'm, not even, I'm not I'm not top 10. There are far more greater esteemed people. <laughs> I'm not even a friend of the main pod. Not even a friend of the show yet. It's not, it's not so, even a thing anymore, mate. It's not a thing anymore. You know, it's, oh, it's, you're part you're part of the posse. You're always part of the posse, and you are taking on Peachy in this big first round. So I'm I'm, I'm excited actually. This is huge. I'm excited for this round. Um, so let's get cracking, El, boys. Um, El Capito, El Capito. Yes, yes, indeed, indeed. Um, well, let's go and get into the first question then. And the first question is on this man, Chef de Cucci, my now, hero. Oh, good start for Peachy then. Um, <laughs> but what shirt number did Chef Dicucci wear during his time at town? Was it 30, 32 or 34? Good old Chef Dicucci, the man with the the fin dive. A1 loved it, didn't they? A1. A1 did it in their garden at some point or on their trampoline or whatever. I definitely did. Oh, um, are we writing this one down or are we saying it? You can do whatever you fancy, my friend. I am very easy, as you know. Just... Um, Say it or chuck it up. If you want to just write it down so it's just in case any cheating kicks on, but I'm sure there won't be any cheating in this round. Uh, take it away, boys. What are you going for? 32. 32. It is 32, of course. It is 1-1. One, one. First question done. Very well done indeed, boys. Question two is on this man, Keith Andrews. Of course, had a very good loan spell with the club. And now, how many goals did he score during his 20-game loan spell at town? Good old Keith Andrews. What a spell that was. 20 games, how many goals? I nearly said the goals then. <laughs> I might have stopped myself. <laughs> 20 games. Only 20 games, but an amazing spell. Mm. All right, then. What are you going then for then, boys? What do you reckon? Okay. Eight. Eight. Six goals from Bono. Um, if Of course, if you get it bang on, you get two points, but none of you have got it bang on. But it is nine goals. Nine goals. What a spell it was. So Peachy does get the point, so he makes it 2-1. But Bono, do not worry. We have another question to get back into this one. And um, bear with me on this one, boys. Bear with me on this one. So I've got to pronounce maybe a hard word. So uh, be prepared. And uh, Bono, I'm sure you can help me um, say it properly when we do get it. But um, the next question is going to be on this man. Peter Malachek, <laughs> Polish, the Polish man. What a guy. What a guy. Um, of course, didn't play many games in town. But uh, he joined town from which Polish club? Was it Krokova, Lech Poznan? Or Corona Kilici. I probably butchered that completely. So sorry to any Polish listeners out there. Um, Bono, 
Did I do an okay effort? Was that okay? Yeah, Dobbs. Yeah. Yeah. It was all right. It was all right. Well, what then, boys, was his name again, Ross? What was his name again? Peter Malarczyk. <laughs> Is that right? That's right. I got a clue. So. <laughs> Close enough, Malachek. I do. I, okay. I do have an advantage. My goddaughter's um, my goddaughter's mum is Polish, and I went out there about five years ago to Wuch. It's very nice. Very nice. I don't know if that gives you any advantage into this question, but what are you going for? I went for the middle one. <laughs> middle one, Nick. Oh, it is it is Kilic. I think that's how you say it. Probably not. It is two two then. What? Oh. Okay, we're back from a little break, but we are here for the final question. Bono versus Peachy, who is going to progress to a round two, because it is going to be the closest to the correct answer gets the points. If you get it bang on, you get two points, and you, you win by two further points. So the final question is on this man, Alex Matty. Oh, what a guy. Alex Matty. And, of course, the man who scored the hat-trick against them up the road. Now, how many goals did he score for town in 133 games? So, yeah, a shot in the dark probably for everyone. Of course, I've given you three goals there, of course, against Norwich in the demolition derby. Um, so, did he score? I'm sure he did score more than three goals after that. But a uh, little, little clue there for you, though. Uh, Alex Matty. Um, very nice man. Now a postman. Or well, works for the Royal Mail anyway. And, of course, does commentary for Radio Suffolk for a lot of the away games. The Scotsman. Right and boys. Well, we'll start with Peachy first. Mm -hmm. I've gone for 41. 41. 54. I'm happy. I'm happy they're sort of separated. I'm now trying to think. Now, 41 and 54. The correct answer is 47. Now, let's do the maths. Who has got closest? I think. Peachy by I one, I think. Oh, oh, my days. So, Peachy has won um, by that one goal. Um, congratulations, my friend. But before we go over to you, I want to, of course, speak to Bono. Out in the first round, my friend. Um, your thoughts, your feelings? Well, I think to, to win... Um, competitions like the strike you've got to come up and you've got to beat the best and clearly with our debutant the the peach master general here um he, he's, a, he's a dark horse he's stuck out there in the fence he's got a backwards cap walks a bit like that you know and um there's there's some big guns in this competition but we're gonna need to um keep their uh keep their eyes on uh, the short and sweet mr peach so yeah, um, I'd, I'd be lumping on this one, to be honest, um, especially with that banging Samp shirt in the background. Yeah. Peachy, peachy, so, peachy. You're through to the next round. Um, I know you're you were keen to get involved in this strike this this season. Um, and now you're into the next round. How's it feel? And uh, beating a very good competitor in Bono? It feels brilliant. Obviously, for the next round, obviously losing Bono for the competition is upsetting at the same time, you know. My fellow cat brother, you know, we've got to stick together because, you know, life choices and all that after, is it 21? Yes, I'm happy to get through the next round. Fingers crossed I can progress further, but I'm actually more gutted for Bono. Yeah, it is a, a big miss to see Bono out in the early doors, but it had to be one of you. And uh, Peachy is through to round two. Another fantastic tie in the Strike Invitational 2.0. Hope you've enjoyed so far. Look out for many more rounds and games to come. Bring it on.